Harvest chapter 49. Abide therefore with me, O Israel, and I shall abide with you. For the time of the day is toward evening, and the evening of the harvest is far spent. And I go in to tarry with you a little while longer, before I go to my own place. And it shall come to pass that as I sit down to meet with you, I shall take bread of five loaves to bless it, and break it to feed five thousand. And it shall go into you also, and you shall eat it and be filled. And your eyes shall be open for you on that day, and you shall know me, and I shall vanish out of your sight into thin air, and go up into the body to my own place. And you shall say to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us, while we talked with us by the way, and while we opened to us the scriptures, and showed unto us the meaning of many things, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, how that the Christ should suffer many things, and be rejected of by this generation and be slain and raise up again on the third day. For the Son of Man came first to cop to be a copy of this, and made himself a little lower than the angels for the sake of the gaining of his brethren, that he might gain unto himself a people zealous for good works, and a holy messenger according to Malachi to perfect them, to be their head. Tarry you therefore with me a, a little longer, O you Israel, and be patient with me as we sort out these matters together, that we might sort out truth in the manner of grace through faith, and patiently stay ourselves on the peaceable fruit of righteousness, which is able to keep back our soul from the pit, and pre present us all to the Son of the Highest of his Father blameless, without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. For I am a man of flesh and blood just like you, O Israel, and suffer the same temptation of evil passions every day. And were it not for the grace of the Son of God through the faith, the faith of which my Father gave unto me, I would be no better than a corpse standing before all, before you all here, and a dead man walking. But for the grace of God I am what I am, and I glory only to the Father and the Lamb who has done it. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers unto me to lead. And I say unto this man, Go, and he goes, and to another, Come, and he comes, and to my servant, Do this, and he does it. For my Father sent me forth as a dove from him out of the ark of safety. And a bird of a wonderful teacher, in the manner of a great eagle which lifts off to take flight, that I might lift off to take flight, and go out of the window of the ark to survey the damage, to count the costs, and to see if the waters of the great flood of the three days of darkness were removed, and the shower heads of the souls of men with acid rain. And lo, I found no rest for the soul of my own foot, nor any place for the Son of Man to lay his head. Therefore have I remained in my ark in the pitch black walls of my father's most holy construction, to keep the thieves that still from breaking in, and the possums of the garden from eating up my veggies through the sight of the eyes of great wantonness, lest they who want see into the treasure of the mystery of these things, and come in illegally to steal them. For the floodwaters of darkness are now over the face of the whole earth, O Israel, and cover over the souls of men as a weight of a great cloud of thick smoke, to witness unto them through the voice of their father that they are darkness and thick smoke and must go down into them to learn how to get out. For this reason, therefore, my father has put forth his hand unto me and has taken me out of the flood of the ark and has pulled me in this very day back unto him that I might go back into the safety of the father's arms to rest. Rest, therefore, my children in this ark. And in the grace of the son of his father a little longer until we are out of the woods and are safe. And I shall stay here with you yet another seven days, while set, which are seven full years, when he shall send me forth again out of the window of my father's ark to look. Chapter 50 So I stayed with Israel and my people for seven years. And yet another seven after that, and he sent me forth out of the window of that ark again, and after that time, and I return not again unto him any more. For flesh and blood cannot enter the kingdom of God, neither can they serve two masters. But the spirit of fle the flesh must go up, and then he will call up his brother after. Watch therefore, I say, and keep the lamps of your body burning always, for you know not what hour your Lord does come. Neither do I, who am sent forth ahead of him to be your leader. But know this, that if the good men of the house had known in which watch that thief 
of the treasure of his house would come, then would he have watched and would have kept himself awake and would not have suffered his house to be broken up into, but would have gone up for the sake of his treasure, which he faithfully guarded with him also. Therefore be you also ready, for in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man comes, and an hour that you are not aware of, he breaks in and stills. And when you are not looking, your houses shall be broken through, and your goods carried out, and you be left outside of the doors of the heavenly ark, standing outside for fear of want knocking. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his master and lord has made ruler over his whole household, to give them their meat in due season? Let him consider these things, and take heed to the great love of the Lord that he has for him. For the spirit of his love has not been given to be taken away from us, nor does he go down to still, to seek to steal him away alone. But his will is that the house that he goes into is bolted tightly, and the doorman prepared, and the man inside standing alone, that he might wrestle with him all night, and not let him go into the breaking of the next day when he blesses him. Blessed is that faithful servant, therefore, whom his lord and master, when he comes, shall find so doing. But if that evil master, if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My lord delays his coming, and is away in a long journey, and begins to smite his fellow servants with the anger of his two fists, and to eat and drink with the heathens and the drunkard, then the lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looks not for him, and an hour that it, when he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and in many pieces, and appoint him, his, appoint him his portion with the hypocrites and the unbelievers, where there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen.